Hello friends, welcome to the fifth episode of Joomla 2.5 Custom Component Development Series. In the previous lesson, we have seen how to create Joomla controller and we have created our Joomla front-end controller and we have also attached our front-end controller to Joomla menu. So if I click on the create task, so here we can see a create controller. If I click on the main menu, so here the no task is defined, that's why it is calling the display function. Now we have also created the delete controller this one you want to delete 155 without the template system so these are all mentioned in the previous tutorial so in this tutorial we will see how to create backend controller so that we can perform different tasks within our component so same rules we have to create a controller file in the backend as like frontend so here we will create controller.php .php now we have to create the controller class so already we, uh, I have told the naming convention etc so just was the previous tutorial defined underscore jexcc or die access deny this prevent the direct access now we have to create our class so class mycom extends j controller j controller now we have to define different task let's say function create echo we can also use language string here because we have uh, previously we have learned how to use the language string like echo j text com underscore my com task create let's create delete controller copy and paste delete and uh, we will create a display function so that if the task is not defined then we will display we will um, the Joomla automatically call this function if the task is not defined so welcome so we have created mycomp extends j controller now um, one thing we have to do that uh, we have to import the j controller main file so j import Joomla application dot component dot controller so Joomla application component controller so uh, in previous tutorial I have uh, shown you the path where the main controller is located so you can check that now we have uh, imported our controller now we, uh, we have to create the controller instance in this file so in backend so here we will create our instance so at first we need to import the controller so we have imported using this or you can manually require or include use so controller equal to j controller get instance now you have to pass the name of the controller sorry you have to attach the controller you want. now you have to pass this this name not the whole class name Joomla automatically append so we have created the controller now we have to uh, execute the task using this instance so dollar controller execute and we have to grab the task so j request get cmd 
or you can use get var task now if redirection set um, then we have to redirect controller redirect so when we create view then we can understand this one so uh, we have imported the controller we have created a new instance of our controller then according to the task we are executing the controller function that is if somebody uh, specify the task create then we are calling this function somebody delete if the task is not available then the Joomla will call this function actually this is uh, display function is present in the parent and we are overriding here so now we have to specify this language string so this is the back end so in the back end and this is not the system uh, file so we specify here manually in the normal language file so let's copy this one I think this one is already uh, there I have to create this one language string welcome to create task welcome to delete task so we have created um, this one and for the menu I one thing I have to specify that we have I have used uh, wrong syntax in the previous tutorial the menu should be placed in the administrator block so here uh, my comp menu we have placed outside the administrator block that's why the menu name uh, not came properly my comp component but still the my comp menu string language value was different like this one my comp component uh, my comp menu so this time will work fine we have to place the menu in the administrator block so my comp so I think uh, now one thing we have to include this controller in the back end so file name controller.php file name saved so let's create another zip file to now extension manager browse install our zip so installation successful now if I visit here I we can see the right language file my comp menu we have specified in the system file here but the previously it was coming the component name um, because we have uh, specified the menu outside from uh, the administrator block so whenever you are specifying the backend menu it is you have to write within the administrator block so um, the inst extension installed correctly so if I click on the menu so my comp controller okay invalid controller class so what is the error invalid controller class my comp controller extends j controller joomla application component controller controller okay Now let's check whether the file is um, uploaded or not. The J controller file, controller file is uploaded or not. So project add project. Open your Joomla install directory. So administrator components or my com underscore my com. Yeah, controller file is um, uploaded. Now we have to check this one. Joomla application my comp J controller get instance yeah so 
so just display the errors uh, so that we can see what are the errors so error reporting all ini set display errors and pass a true value so just refresh this so my com controller the spelling is correct or not oh look at this we have not saved so here uh, we have written but we have not saved that's the problem so just save this and now run yeah it's working but there are some uh, warning we can eliminate uh, the warning letter and I will show in the future so here uh, is the default because we have not specified any task that's why it's coming the backend controller their display function now if we mention that task create now it's showing welcome to create task now if I display delete now it's showing welcome to delete task so we have successfully created our backend controller so let's um, uninstall the component uninstall and create a fresh copy just close all this stuff here administrator components mycom controller.php so here we have to use mycom controller controller save we have saved now we will create another zip replace the previous one now try to install now here the component is installed if I click there we can see because um, we have not specified the task that's to why the display function is calling so we can view what is present in the display function here this is the welcome so we are getting the welcome text from the language file um, let me open the language file so that you can understand better so this file this is the language file now uh, in language file sometimes you need to uh, add some comments so you can add like this My M comment okay so in this way you can also add comment in language file so welcome so this text welcome to the to my backend this is showing um, now if I specify any task so task equal to create so here is a create task so this function is calling actually task create and um, for this string we have specify welcome to the create task in the language file that's why the language string is appearing um, we can check that language string is working by turning on the language system debug language so save now if I go to that portion now here you can see my component name or uh, language is working this is also language and we click task equal to create and this is also language string replaced language string so in this way you can create backend controller in the next lesson I will show you how to create sub menu like this one so we will create different sub menu for our backend task so thanks for watching this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel thank you